Hi guys, this is Alessandro Restagno and today I'm going to present you the Deep Deterministic Policy Gradient Algorithm also known as the DDPG Algorithm So, let's take a look at the, at the crawler environment We have a creature, a strange creature with four arms and four forearms. And the goal of this creature is to move towards an, a target. The target could be static or dynamic. Static is easier, dynamic is more difficult, and that's why the benchmark mean reward for static is 2000, and the benchmark mean reward for dynamic is 400. Uh, Agents receive a reward every time step of a plus 0.03 times body velocity in the goal direction and uh, 0.01 times body direction alignment with goal direction. And uh, the state is composed by 117 variables corresponding to position, rotation, velocity, and angular velocity of each limb, and the action space is a size of 20, continuous, con corresponding to target rotation for joints. As we can see, any discretization method is not feasible. So what we can do is try something else try a solution that works in a continuous space. At the beginning of the notice, uh, again, uh, it was introduced, the reinforce algorithm. Then came the proximal policy optimization. And in the late years, actor critic methods gained traction and uh, showed great results. One of these actor critic methods is DDPG, Deep Deterministic Policy Gradient Algorithm, introduced in 2016 by Lele Krapp. It was a great algorithm that works well in continuous space and shows good, good results like DQN show good results in discrete, in discrete spaces. So, now let's come back to the crawler example. I already prepared a Jupyter Notebook file. Here we're going to take a look at the environment, the action space. So we have uh, 12 agents, uh, 20 is the action vector for each agent. And uh, each agent observes a state with length 129. And then we have the first stack, state observed. Okay, now we have to implement DDPG. So I'm going to take a look from DDPG, DDPG agent import agent. So take a look at the DP agent file here. And we're going to take a look at this file. Uh, we start with some hyperparameters there, then the class agents define the DPG. And what we notice is that we have to initialize an actor and a critic, that's why the DPG is an actor and critic method. Then we start, we initialize noise and we initialize a memory, reply memory. The main characteristic of the DPG uh, algorithm are the experience reply buffer. Here we have the initialization. At the end, we have the class reply buffer. Another characteristic is the noise. The noise helps to uh, increase exploitation exploration at the beginning of the training 
DDPG is a deterministic policy, so at the beginning should uh, maybe can have some problem exploring, introducing a noise helps exploration. Uh, in the original paper, OU noise was recommended, and here we use OU noise. And you can see here the class OU noise. Uh, then uh, we saw that the other kind of noises can go get uh, similar results. So if you want to try different noises and see how they work and how the trainings work with different kind of noises. Then another uh, important factor of the DDPG is the introduction uh, of uh, is the introduction of Q targets that the, uh, they help learning and uh, last thing is the soft update this slow learning makes learning slower but it avoids or the helps helps to avoid divergence of the algorithm. So uh, we introduced the main characteristics of the DDPG. Now let's come back to the main file. So we come back. Okay, we came back to the main file. Here we iterate over each episode, we get the states, and then we get action him for rewards next states, and we check if the episode is ended. Now we train, we start the training. We just check if there is a GPU. In this case, there is a GPU. And then we start the training choosing the number of episodes and the max T. And so now we start the training. It will take a while. So now you just saw a real example of how to implement deep deterministic policy gradient. There are some new algorithms that showed good results, uh, like deep distributed, distribu distributed distributional deterministic policy gradient, D4PG, uh, truncated natural, poli natural policy gradient, TNPG, and trust region policy optimization, TRPO. They are possible improvements. Uh, they have advantages, they have disadvantages. Uh, if after you feel confident with the uh, DDPG, I encourage, I encourage that you try to explore these new algorithms and try to implement it, maybe in the same environment or maybe with another environment. In conclusion, we make a quick recap of what DDPG is. DDPG is an algorithm that we use when we are in a continuous environment. It's an actor critic method and it's based on deterministic policy gradient. Uh, the main characteristic of this algorithm are experience replay buffer, target networks, OU noise, and soft update. We saw how a deep deterministic policy gradient algorithm can help us in a continuous environment like crawler. This was the tutorial about DDPG algorithm. Have a 
have a nice day guys. Bye.